welcome back to the Metronome Madness League. We have an exciting battle, you, battle here for you tonight with the uh, Cyndaquils going up against the Heatrans. Seeing which one of these two teams can come out on top tonight. The Litten's going to start with a Surf. Probably should have used a Fire move there going up against the Rowlet. Um, but that is going to do a little bit of damage. Rowlet's going to go ahead and retaliate here. Now the Cyndaquils, one and one, while the Heatrans have not come away with the win. So this battle is very important for the Heatrans. They need to come away with a win here just so they can kind of get some momentum back in their season. They're 0-2 so far, seven game season. You do not want to go down three or four games. If you go down four games, that's pretty much guaranteed not in the playoffs. So we'll see what happens in the future. There goes a Super Fang. That does not land. That would have been a very good move. Unfortunately, it doesn't land. There goes the, uh, I was going to say stab, but not stab. Super effective waterfall. And the Litten's in the danger zone. And the Whirlpool, which is going to take it out. What a move combination from the Heatrans there. That was an excellent, excellent job with them using the Whirlpool, doing residual damage, and then the super effective waterfall. Just, just helping them out tremendously. So we're going to see the Toracat come out. It's going to have Intimidate, lowering that attack stat even further on the Rowlet. The good thing, though, for the Heatrans, the longer um, or the more that Intimidate hits their earlier Pokemon, then when they're down to their last Pokemon, they will have their full strength, not having to worry about Intimidate. So they're in a good position there. There goes the Defense Curl. Rowlet's going to try and stay on the field longer, and we've seen this tactic before with teams. When you, after you defeat that first Pokemon, you want to try and make sure that your first, um, that your Pokemon can stay on the field longer, giving uh, the other team even greater disadvantage. So there we go. <clears throat> Rowlet now going to go ahead again with a corrosive gas. That's going to fail. Toracat needs to get rid of the Rowlet quickly just so they can even this matchup there goes the acrobatics that's one way to do it super effective flying type move does a ton of damage against the rowlet rowlet at about a quarter of its hp what is it gonna do to in return it uses eruption bad move against the Torcat. barely does anything it is resisted not a good idea would have been better using a stab grass type move there even though that's resisted that would have done more damage Unfortunate for them. There goes the mud shot. Doesn't affect the Rowlet. It is a flying type. Bad idea. Rowlet gets another chance to do some damage. It's going to go with another not very effective move, the struggle bug. But I don't think the damage is the point there. That struggle bug is going to lower the special attack stat of the Toracat. And I think that's what they were going for. Some of those moves that do damage and change stats are very useful, even if the damage is just a little bit. And here comes the Aqua Ring from the Toracat. It's going to heal back some health at the end of every turn. So that's a good idea from them. Toracat might be able to stay on the field for quite some time. The laser focus coming from the Rally. There we go. Toracat going first here. I'm going to go ahead with the Grass Knot. What are these move choices? I'm not sure. Grass not really. I didn't. Rowlet's HP didn't even move there. Bad move choice by the Cyndaquils there. Rowlet gonna go with the heart and raising his defenses even more. I believe that's the second time it's raised his defenses. But it's gonna have to attack. You see that uh, Aqua Ring healing back up Toracat's health. Toracat is almost back all the way up to full. It's going to go ahead with an extra sensory. And that's going to do it. No, Rowlet, it's, it's still alive. It's hanging on with one HP, one last move maybe for it. I thought it would go down there. There goes a stab wing attack. That does a bit of damage after the two intimidates, though. Doesn't do a lot. How did Rowlet live that? I was sure. I was sure it would go down there. Unfortunately, it didn't. Toracat gonna go with an aurora beam another super effective move didn't need to be super effective but i guess they want to make sure this rally goes down they had a hard time getting rid of it it finally faints and the heat trans are on to their second pokemon 
The positive part for the Cyndaquils is that their health is almost full thanks to the Aqua Ring. However, they've used quite a bit of metronome just to get rid of that Rowlet, and they may run out of, of metronomes, uh, forcing them to struggle. We'll see what happens there. There goes the Miss Ball coming from the Tora Cat. Miss Ball going to do a little bit of damage, chipping away at the Dartrix now. It also lowers that special attack stat. We talked about that before. Here comes the Dartrix with a Blast Burn. He trends really focusing on the fire moves today, but it's a bad idea against the fire team. Fighting fire with fire, it always seems like a good idea, but it, it generally doesn't work. So we want to go with a different tactic there. Fighting fire with water is probably better. There goes the slack off from the Torcat, and yeah, it's going to put its HP back at full. Not that it took a lot of damage. I don't know. I think the Syndicals are actually wasting a few turns here with the healing. Um, it, you know, in some cases, it's good to keep your Pokemon healed up. But right now, it feels like they're wasting their turns. Going to use another Cat's move. There goes the Payday coming from the Torah Cat. Reminding you, if you want to support the channel, hit the like button and subscribe. That is the best thing you could do for us here so other people can see the amazing battles. And Tora Cat going to go again after the swap from the Dartrix. Here comes an Earth Power. Doesn't affect. Gotta avoid those ground type moves. Doesn't affect the flying type Pokemon. Dartrix with another free turn. Here comes the Quick Attack. Not doing a lot of damage. It, it, it's an interesting fight going on here. The Cyndaquils. I, they've, they've been on the field for a long time. They've been able to survive, not taking a lot of damage, but they can't dish it out. There goes the rock throw. That's super effective. Finally, a big hit. Dartrix in the yellow now. But on the other hand, the Heatrans you know, also aren't able to deal a lot of damage. It's like a defensive battle here. It's each team just... Chipping away at each other, the upside is with the Cyndaquils, able to keep their HP as high as possible with all the healing. There goes the Horn Leech from the Toracat. And speaking of healing, that's going to heal them even further. It's not very effective, so it's not going to do a lot of damage. But they got some health from it. Dartrix going again, this time a Gunk Shot. It's avoided. Toracat just, it just won't go down. You can see the frustration on the Heatrans right here as they try again and again, but this, this Torcat just won't go down. There goes the dual wing beat. And that's gonna do it for the Dartrix. Unfortunate, it goes down. And the Heatrans are forced down to their last Pokemon. Cyndaquil's in a good position. I'm guessing they, they've played it well. We talked about their healing and how it may not work out in their favor, but so far it has. And I guess they know what they're doing here. This Cat still has a few turns left in this arsenal. It has full HP. Here we go. There goes the metronome from the Cat. This time he uses Pound. Doesn't work. Yep. The Sijuai has turned into a Ghost-type Pokemon. So you cannot use moves like that on it. There goes the Mist. Going to protect itself. And there goes the struggle from the Toracat. It actually wasted all of its metronome. And you know what? If you got to the last Pokemon, I would say that's a pretty good position to be in. Like, yeah, Toracat's struggling. It's going to go down in the next few turns. But, oh, man. The, the three times hit from the Decidueye doing a lot of damage there. Wow. Toracat for the first times in the yellow. I don't believe it was in the yellow before. Um, and as I was saying, it's going to go down due to the struggle, but with the amount of damage that they've done, it's it's a pretty good position to be in. Decidueye going to go with a stomp. Stomp does enough damage, and Torcat finally faints. Decidueye has taken a little bit of damage, and the Incineroar now is going to come out for the Cyndaquils. Incineroar has the typing advantage. The Intimidate doesn't work because of the mist. So that was a very smart move. I didn't even think about that. That's probably why the Heat Trends used it. They protected themselves against the um, Intimidate from the Incineroar. 
doing a little bit of damage with the peck there. Here comes the power gym. This is why I no longer a flying type. It's not super effective anymore, but it does a decent amount. This is why in the yellow. This is why has some ground to make up. It uses a stat magical leap. It is not very effective. Does a bit of damage, but would have been better going with a different type move. Here comes the Cotton Guard now. Cotton Guard raising those defenses. Situ is probably going to have to focus on uh, different moves, not physical moves, but there goes the Super Fang, which does half. Yeah, half of your remaining health, so that was smart. That's a one way of getting around defenses. There goes the U-turn, that's super effective. I guess the Decidueye, oh, it lives after a critical hit. Decidueye in the danger zone, though. I am surprised it was able to live. Good job by the Decidueye. What is it gonna do? It uses Octazooka, that's super effective. From the Decidueye, and then Cinderwar is on three HP. It's down to the wire, both. Pokemon with just a slither of health left. Who's gonna win? And Cinderor gets the attack first. He uses a howl, so no attack from him. It's gonna raise his attacks that wasted turn. You don't need to raise your attacks. And Decidueye has like one HP left. Just hit it. Decidueye now gets its chance. Here we go. He uses a dark pulse, which is not very effective. However, with three HP left, yeah, it doesn't matter. And Cinderor goes down. And the Cyndaquils come away with the win. At the end of that battle, oh my goodness, it came, became really close. For a while there, it seemed like the Cyndaquils had that in the bag. But great job by the Heatrans. First, using the Mist to circumvent the Intimidate. And then just using good moves with that Decidueye at the end of the battle there. That was excellent. If you enjoyed that battle, make sure you leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Special thanks to our patrons for supporting us. We appreciate that. If you want to become a patron as well, you can. The link is in the description below, as well as, as a link to our Discord. We'll love to have you in the community. So click that link and join up with us. And there is a link for the standings and the schedule of Metronome Madness League. So you can follow that to see how your favorite team is doing this season. That being said, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you next time.